Oh, hallelujah. Now, I will now uh, teach you on three steps to speaking in tongues, especially if you have never spoken in tongues. All right? Three steps to speaking in new tongues. Three steps. I'm calling them three Ds. <laughs> three Ds. Hallelujah. Three Ds to speaking in new tongues. The first D. Desire to speak in tongues. Desire to speak in tongues. Jesus said in uh, John chapter 7, on that last day of the feast, he stood up and cried out, Whosoever is thirsty, let him come. Amen. Whosoever is thirsty, let him come. Desire, you must have that hunger, that thirst. I want to speak in new tongues. I want, I don't want to miss this revival. Lord, teach me, baptize me. Hallelujah. Let me read you this uh, one testimony in the book of Acts chapter 17. Acts number 17. Oh, is it 17 or 19? Let me see. Acts 19, I'm sorry. Acts 19. Verse 1, the Bible says, And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through this upper course, came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, he said to them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Now pause there. Have you spoken in new tongues since you believed? <laughs> Have you ever spoken in new tongues since you believed? Now look here. They say to him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Now these were so honest men. Very honest. I miss to find such honest people. They say, oh, Holy Ghost is there. We have never heard if there be any Holy Ghost. And Paul said, and then of what baptism then were you baptized? They said, we were baptized of John. He said, that's good. John really baptized unto repentance. You need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And when Paul laid hands on them, they were filled. Bible says, let me read it. Then Paul said, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him, which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. And all the men were about twelve. Man, all the men were about twelve. You know, they said, we have never heard if there be any Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. That's being so genuine. There's nothing, please, get me right. There's nothing shameful if you've never spoken in new tongues, there's nothing shameful. You can speak in new tongues today. Desire to speak in new tongues. That's the first D, first step. Desire to speak in new tongues. Have that hunger to speak in new tongues. Amen? Amen. The second D, don't be ashamed to speak in new tongues. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed nor afraid to speak in new tongues. Because sometimes, I remember when I was speaking my first syllable, my first vocabulary, it was just a simple word. <laughs> a simple word and, uh, you know, sometimes you're like, hey guy, what's that you're saying? Don't be ashamed. These are matters of spirit. They are foolishness to the natural mind. Amen? Amen. They are foolishness to the natural mind. Don't be ashamed. Care nothing. Care less. Speak that word that God puts. Don't try to imagine what is that, um, what's, what's this that I'm saying. Just speak it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. We are all you remember David when he danced before the Lord that day? The Bible says, and he danced, he danced 
You know, he, he, cared, he cared nothing. He cared less. You know, we are in the presence of the Lord, man. I don't care if, uh, if I'm crying and my children are here. Come on. I'm speaking in new tongues and... Uh, woo! I, I don't care when you are with me and uh, I'm, I'm speaking in new tongues. I'm flowing in the spirit, you know. My mind is unfruitful, yes, but uh, in the spirit I'm speaking mysteries. My, my spirit, by the help of the spirit of God, is speaking to God, talking to the Father. Don't be ashamed. Many people have not spoken in other times because they are trying to keep the status quo. They are trying to you know, keep cool. Don't be ashamed. Amen. The last D. Dare to speak in new tongues. Dare. Dare to speak in new tongues. Just start. Just dare. Just start. Just, just begin to speak in new tongues. Don't just desire, dare to speak. Dare speak. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2, And they began to speak. Then the Spirit gave them utterance. I've been, I've been imagining, I've been reading this scripture in James, where he says, um, the tongue is a very small uh, uh, member of the body, right? You can tame every other thing, all those big animals, you can tame them, save the tongue. The tongue is almost untamable. But I will show you who is able to tame the tongue. The Holy Spirit who created that tongue. If you allow him, he can get off that tongue and direct it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And your prayer life will change. It is the Spirit of God that has been given the mandate. I want you to mark that. It is the Spirit of God that has been given the mandate to prepare the church for this revival. How will he prepare the church? When he is allowed, you know, by individual church members, by individual members of the body, to pray for that revival. Praying in the Spirit. Praying in tongues in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, how I thank you, God, for bringing us this far and for allowing us, Lord, to be partakers, Lord, of this end time revival. We thank you, even as your word says, that we should be thankful for all things. We thank you, Lord, even for this pandemic, oh God. I know the devil meant evil, but God meant good that you're making everything beautiful that you're making everything beautiful oh god thank you for this revival and we receive it lord may you remember us may you count us in oh god and i'm praying lord that you will baptize us with the holy spirit i'm praying lord that you will help us to begin flowing lord in tongues lord rivers lord that will bring refreshment and healing in the name of jesus Glory to God. Thank you, God. thank you, God, and thank you for your faithfulness, Lord, on your word. Thank you, God, for your spirit, even the free gift of speaking in tongues. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, for this, my brother, and for this, my sister. I dedicate them, Lord, unto this word of grace. In the name of Jesus, baptize them, Lord, with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Amen.